So what is robusta, or robusta? However you want to say it, it's a species of coffee plant that makes up about 40% of all coffee grown in the world. But you don't typically see it highlighted on specialty coffee roasters' menus, like its cousin, Arabica. Both Arabica and Robusta are coffee plants commercially grown around the world. On the outside, they look a lot alike. A similarly shaped plant with red cherries and round beans. However, they have some significant differences in what they offer and the way history has moved them forward. On one hand, Arabica has been cultivated for generations to select for plants with clean, sweet, and delicate flavors. A system of grading Arabica was developed to help compare these coffees and let buyers find the best quality, eventually leading to competitive auctions with roasters vying for the best Arabica. On the other hand, Robusta was identified early on to have a more harsh flavor profile and was believed not suitable for specialty coffee. That's now changing. Even though Robusta plants produce higher yields, are more disease resistant, have a higher caffeine content, and grow well across a wider range of lower elevations, it wasn't until 2010 that a system was put in place to begin distinguishing and growing higher quality plants. This new classification is called Fine Robusta and has opened a door to a whole new era. Sourcing Fine Robusta is still not an easy task. You need producers who will treat these plants with the same high standards of cultivating, picking, and processing that they also apply to the best Arabica. However, if given the time and attention, an ingredient is created that offers a flavor profile that is simply not something you can find with Arabica. It is different in both body and taste, giving us a delightfully bitter flavor and textual gravitas that is the perfect base for our newest creation. Robusta blend number one.